Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. I am going to go through my two ET plates and I'm just going to quickly go through and stamp each image on one and I'm not going to put them on tips. I'm just using a sticky sheet from my Maniology sticky stamper station um, because a viewer commented that they have the ET plates and they can't get anything to pick up. So I spent hours <laughs> with these plates this week trying to figure it out and I wanted to rip my hair out, okay? Um, some of the images pick up fine. Some of the images are a nightmare and I had to switch between different polishes, different stampers, different scrapers. It was tedious and exhausting. And for me, stamping needs to be fun, not, not so hard. This should not be so hard. So I am going to show you kind of what's going on. So I am just going to use Moyu London. This is roasted caramel. I'm going to use this polish because it was the one that was working the best last night. And most of my blacks seem to be almost out. And some of the whites picked up okay, but then you can't see it on the stamper station. So we're just going to go with it like this. Bear with me. I'm going to probably end up making a huge mess. I am even going to use... Moyu London's um, Ice Cube Stamper. And I also have their Monocle Stamper, which I don't really see any difference or feel any difference. I haven't tried this one yet, but when I was using this one last night, it did pick up their images better. Um, but that's so specific. I just feel like I shouldn't have to do that. And so we're going to start simple. And we're just going to start with these little words right here. And just stamp it on. I'm not worried about the streaks and cleaning up right now. I'm just trying to see what picks up and what doesn't. I find a lot of these fine line ones are the ones that had the hardest trouble, you see? That should have been fairly easy to pick up. That was quick and you can see um, it wasn't the best. The finer lines I feel like are the ones that are poorly etched. That one, I'll point them out and talk about it as I come to them, but uh, The telephone picks up okay. That one was a little weird, but. That one didn't, that one usually picks up okay. I just didn't do it. And also, um, this is another thing, and it doesn't matter which polish I used, I felt like I had to hold my stamper in my hand, the scraper in my hand, and this is how I was having the stamp to get any anything done, was doing that. I mean, like rolling that stamper over it, like immediately as I'm stamping, and you can see it, it picked up okay. That one... This, the spaceship one was pretty hit and miss last night. This ghost um, was another hit and miss. Yeah, that didn't do anything. I scraped it pretty hard though. So. Oh. 
Well, I'm sorry, I stamped that like right over the other words. You can't, it kind of messed it up. <clears throat> Surprisingly, this picked up pretty well last night. Hmm. That didn't do well at all. All right, so we'll come back to that because I know it picked up okay last night. The bike, again, that was another um, hit or miss. But again, uh, I pressed too hard on that one. But that one does work if you do it right. So that one, I'm gonna hold it up closer. That was this one. I, I mean, it's terrible. I know I did that, the heart's really sloppy, but they pick up fine. As long as you know how to pick up negative space, which me and negative space are always fighting. That one was okay. The Be Good was, oops, I kind of did it in a wonky spot. The Be Good picked up okay. This one was picking up okay for me um, last night with all those lines in it. I was surprised how well it picked up and it did not pick up. <laughs> That's so frustrating. Like it worked last night and that was really the biggest issue I had was the how much work it was to get anything to work. I'm going to keep going because when I clean up, I want to do it all at once. So these, most of these worked okay. If you do them right, there's, there's a lot of negative space. And again, if you don't scrape those right, see this one's going to be kind of, yep, yeah, it's going to have a bunch of lines and stuff in it because I didn't do it very good. And actually, I think I found for these, let me see if I can turn so that I don't make a mess all over myself. Scraping this way seemed to work best. So laying down like a line like that, having my stamper ready. Well, not like that. And doing that worked better. The problem is, is I should have started from the bottom. I had it switch. I wonder if I do it this way so that I'm not, um, I need to be swiping into the ones I've already done. Now this one was another one that worked pretty well if I did it just right. And I think that was a good pickup. Yeah, that one, that one is a really good pickup with Drew Barrymore's character kissing E.T. I really like that one. That one was really cute. And then the one where he's blended in into the stuffed animals again, that one pretty much picked up every time as well. It did not do good that time, though. It's kind of, I didn't get the lines good. I Maybe I scraped too hard on that one.
and then this little farm scene that one works pretty well even though it's pretty hard to really see any detail and this one is my favorite image and it gives me fits some really streaky I didn't I didn't do that one good so um that's the first plate oh I can't believe I set the stamper right in it okay I'm just gonna move this to the side for now and okay I don't want to do a whole lot of cleaning, 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 cleaning. So I'm going to set this one aside on a dirty mat. I mean, on a, the dirty mat that it was on. I'm already getting polish on my fingers. Looks like poop. And I am running out of space on my damper station. Hopefully I'll have enough. All right. So let's do these now. They're, and the polish just really sits on these image on this plate. It's so weird. The heartbeat line picks up pretty well. I'm gonna skip over some of those other images for now. And I'm kind of just I picked up the phone and like the details right there because you can really see, you can already see them. I'm going to do this and the, the star together. And that worked pretty well. I'm just going to do a whole chunk. This one usually works pretty well, yeah. Okay. The problem is, is like some of these, they, they like work fine. Like this one, like the bike and like phone home, phone me maybe. Like they work fine and that's great. Those little images. And they're cute and they add to the overall look. But the problem is the plate is called ET. What do I want? I want ET. And those are the ones that have the absolute worst pickup. It's awful. It's, and I can't get it to when I do the, the like the layer room ones, like I, obviously this is the bottom layer. That's the top layer. And then this one, this is the bottom layer and that's the top layer. Those are the, uh, to me, and the plates, these are the two most important. And they're crap. Absolute crap to work with. This one is easier than this one. But let's, let's see how it goes. Okay, just because I've said that, it actually worked, but normally it doesn't. <laughs> I'm not going to do all of the negative space ones. Those pick up okay. I might show you the moon. Um, I really didn't have an issue picking those up. You just have to 
people work with negative space the right way, which means, you know, scraping so you're not digging into the negative space. All right, so let me show you this one over here that was made me want to, like, just pull my own fingernails out last night. It is just the, even though I know it goes layered, but when you go really up close, sorry, I have a, a I broke my nail today and I did a um, builder gel clear. I redid it with a nail form and I got like that bubble right in the center that I didn't see when I was doing it. So it sucks. Um, but like from a distance, it's ugly. You got to like get really in there to like see and the way it's broken up like that on the image, I don't know. It like doesn't, even when I could get it to pick up, I couldn't get it to look right over the bottom layer. It was just really wonky looking. And this one was, I'm trying to find a empty spot to put this face. This one is another one that's like, was really hard to pick up and was like really hit or miss. So, um, like these pick up, those negative space ones pick up okay. Well, that didn't, okay. So I said don't scrape too hard for negative space and then I didn't scrape hard enough. Basket picks up okay, and then now there's more than just these two ET plates. That one pick that base picks up pretty good. Um, I wish I had more space. I don't want to waste another sheet. I'm just gonna stick it right here. And I'm just going to smack it over these and see how that goes. Yeah, so see all these other images pick up okay. It's just really frustrating when you get to the images that really count. They're so hard to pick up. I think I had trouble with some of these as well. Let's see. Oh, I picked up okay. Like, I still feel like even the ones like this that pick up, like, I don't ever have this problem, this streaking problem like this with any of my other, like, popular brand plates. I it just, I still feel like they're too, a little too shallow. So I don't know if this is really going to help my viewer that asked the question, because as you can see with the two plates I do have, I, I can successfully pick up a lot of the images, but it was very specific um, on how I did that. So I'm going to show you an example. Give me a second to clean everything up and then... I'll explain to you what I mean by that. I'm running out of acetone. No, I'm not really running out, just running out in my pump. It's so streaky. I'm just going to leave it because it's going to drive me insane. 
but obviously like none of that should be there so stupid so all right let me show you with the black on the outline if uh, i mean i don't even know if it's gonna pick up like i couldn't even get anything to pick up with the um other polishes last night All right, well, I did pick it up. Let's see how it stamps on top. I'm trying to stay in camera, but also trying to line it up correctly. I got a little bit off, but there you go. All right, so it's making me look like an ass and a liar. <laughs> Telling you this shit did not work last night. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. Nope. Switch to a different color just for just for the fun of it. <laughs> yeah, a bluey tea. All right, let's see how this one goes. That's still a pretty crappy pickup. It, it does pick up, but you can see it's it's not great. So let's try. What was another one that I had trouble with? Let's do this one real quick. We are gonna do him in another walkie color just because I can. This is a brand new palette bottle, I think, of the Black Born Pretty stamping polish because my my Maniology and my other Born Pretty black are kind of low and thick. So that worked real well. That actually did a lot better. So this is going a lot better than it did last night, oddly enough. Let me try a couple other things. Hmm, I picked up both of those nicely. Oops, that didn't strike. So I really like Born Pretty Polish, stamping polishes. Um, they're one of my favorite stamping polishes. And I think the bottle I was trying last night, oh, that's perfect, just wasn't, um, I think it was just the old bottle. I thought I had switched to the new one, but apparently not. I mean, look how good the words picked up with that one. That picked up great. Yay for Born Pretty Polish. 
All right, so what other one was kind of giving me fits? Let's try this guy right here. Do him this way. Okay, that's a lot better. Those words came out pretty good. And then let's try the spaceship because that was driving me crazy last night. That's good. Yeah, let's try him when he's dressed up like that little thing, whatever. I haven't seen this movie in years, but doing this really makes me want to go pop it on. All right, that one worked really well as well when he's dressed up in all the old lady clothes when they were trying to hide him, I believe. I really like this one when he's hiding behind the door. It's so cute. All right, let's try. I'm going to do this one again because this happens to just be something I need practice with. Off the streaks again. But it still looks, it looks really good, except I got um, those lines right there. But I kind of think that's user error, not so much the plate on that. Oh, that one picked up really well that time. Yeah. This one picked up really well last night, but I'm doing it again just because it's adorable. I can't wait to do a reverse stamp on that one. Look at all those things to reverse stamp. All the stuffed animals when he's hiding in the closet, I believe. And I'm not doing the landscapes because they all worked. Again, I feel like it's so weird. Like the most important images are the ones that don't pick up the best. Mm, that one came out near perfect. And then I don't stamp it perfectly. Okay. So that one did pick up pretty perfectly. I messed that up when I stamped because I wasn't flat. So, all right. Well, I kind of proved myself wrong that um, none of the black was working. Okay, that didn't work. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna try that one again because I was really poor. Look what I just did. I grabbed it. And yeah. I want to do that again, but that's better. Yeah, that's pretty perfect as well. So, uh, you know what? I wanted to try something else, though, real quick. Okay, I'm going to grab a Maniology stamper. I was not having any luck with the Maniology stampers, like, at all last night. And I was like, well, is there something wrong with my stampers? Do I have something on them? But you can see, like, that one picks up the ET picked up fine with it but then 
this is the plate that gave me the most trouble. Uh, bear with me. I'm out of acetone and my big, my pump. Give me a second. And I gotta get some of this back on my, off my fingers because I'm transferring it everywhere. And that's not good. Okay. So I don't, if I have to use acetone on my fingers, I like the Onyx, the blue one, but I don't like cleaning my plates with it. I like cleaning my plates. I prefer, um, the clear one without any, without anything in it. Okay, I, I still have pretty much of a mess, but maybe a little a mess. Maybe not. Move some things out the way. I think I just rubbed that polish all over my face. Luckily, you can't see me. Clean this up. All right. Back to a maniology stamper and... I'm gonna try the burnt, blah, 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 the born pretty polish again. Let's let's do a purple et. <sighs> Look, I got it on this hand now too. Jeez. That's a really pretty purple. Not, not great, not terrible. I mean, I guess it would do in a pinch, but that's weird. It's not sticking very well to the sticky stamper station. Doesn't matter, I mostly wanted to try out the details anyway. Ignore my messy purpleness. All right, this one, let's see. It's gonna be purple again. Oh. Yeah, that is not how you do negative space. Sometimes I just get over enthusiastic. So ignore my little blobs of stuff there. And let's try the black for this one. And the feet will probably look wonky because I did have some polish there. Ah. Okay, so my hand got stuck a little bit. Again, ignore my messy purple. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it's working. I'm picking up. It's, it's doing its thing. So now I've switched scrapers. I've switched stampers. And... I mean, everything's working kind of as expected. I'm going to do my Queen stamper. This is one of my favorites, except I got it all messed up, so it's kind of hard to see now. Um, and I was trying this one last night, too, and I couldn't get it to work. So let's just try one of these little ones. 
Oh, yeah. That's a good one. All right, so that worked too. All right, so um, the Born Pretty polishes seem to work the best with multiple stampers. So I'm gonna do one more thing because this was not working last night. The um, Manny Holiday polish, oh, I couldn't get anything to to work properly. And that's not anything against Maniology. I I love their polishes. I the only color that I've ever had a problem with is straight up black. I don't know why, but me and straight up black do not get along. Um I've had to buy um just regular nail polish thinner and put it in mine. Not because it was old, even when it was brand new, when I first started stamping years ago, a couple years ago. I, I say years ago, it's only been two years or so. Um, because it, man, many allergies straight up black don't work together. Um, I don't know if I want to use it because now the bottle is like kind of funky. It's kind of old. I'm looking for another dark color that I know works really well. All right, I'm gonna try Cherry Bomb just because I know that one works. Sorry, I'm trying to get situated here. Oh, I should have picked a bigger stamp. A bigger stamper. I kind of missed his head. But you get the idea. It did pick up, just not very well. Let's try this one. You see? It, well, that came off, but it, um, I have an open bottle of acetone sitting here, and it's an accident waiting to happen. All right. I'm kind of rushing now because I'm just. I mean, it picks up, it's recognizable, but that is not exactly what's on the plate. It's still a little bit off. There's just certain parts. Let's see if we can compare that. Like those finger parts, this elbow part, and kind of like this shoulder area never picks up for me and kind of like a little bit at the top up there. Like it, it just doesn't pick up, period. Let's try this one again and let's see if I can like try to get his head this time. Okay, that worked. It's okay, the bike worked well. And then let's try it on something on here. I love these sticky stampers stations, but they drive me crazy because I stick to everything. Picked up, the lines are really thin. That's one of the differences. It's like the Maniology polish is maybe a little, not quite as thick as the Born Pretty and it really needs that thick, that thickness. 
Let's try one more color. No. I'm gonna do storm cloud. Because that is like a color that I've used quite a bit and it works well. It'll be hard to see on here. Yeah, that's better. A little bit thicker looking. I'm gonna stamp it upside down, but there's the space show. I want this to work so bad. Still pretty messy. Okay, that was terrible. That didn't do well at all. But that could have been because of me. Because the lines are going the other direction, I think. Yeah, I think s swiping, scraping the opposite direction works better. Yeah, so these less, the little bit thinner consistency just does not work. I don't know, many allergies, polishes um, just don't seem to work the best with this plate. Again, not knocking many allergy. I love their polishes. Um, I was going to try this. No, oh, other color from Born Pretty, but it's um, seal shirt. Let's try a little bit of a lighter color. See how this works. And this is pretty much gonna be it. I'm I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> that one's cute. Cute color. I don't know. Again, I don't know what images or exactly what plate was in question, um, but I do hope this help somebody um the only advice that i really have is that one came out pretty good oh look i actually got the elbow and the hand this time 
and the top of the head more interesting. Was it a fluke? <laughs> My biggest advice right now is invest in some Born Pretty Polish. Um, they're thick. I just, I do find I'm running out of space and I am not wasting another sticky stamper station. Okay, so we're back to missing the elbow. <laughs> I mean, that's a little bit of it, but, um, so the winning combination seems to be, um, the Born Pretty Polishes. I even tried with Clear Jelly Stamper last night, which I think their polishes are usually amazing, um, but I wasn't having any luck, but I wasn't having any luck with anything last night. So I said I was done, but uh, I'm going down a rabbit hole now. That was not a good pickup. I thought it was going to be. It looks so nice and thick on there. I don't have any clear jelly stamper, like black or anything. Oh, that's weird. No, that's terrible. Let's try a different color. Um, I don't have any black clear jelly stamper to try. No, that didn't, that's not working either, but that's a gorgeous color. Look how pretty that is. Really nice color. So, again, I'm sorry. This is, I made, like, a disaster. Oof. So, um, yeah. I, the only thing that I'm finding that works is my, oh, we, that, what's working the best is my, newer bottles of Barn Pretty stamping polish. I say newer, I've been having these for a long time, but uh, I actually have two sets and I picked the ones that haven't been used yet and those seem to work the best. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know why they just do. All right, so that's my findings. I am going to say that and I, I'm, I apologize. I only have a few brands of nail polish that can be used for stamping. And I, like I have to, I can only go by what I have. So um, the Moyu polishes, some of them worked okay. Some of them didn't. Uh, the maniology polishes only work on the images that work with anything. They don't work on the finer etched ones, the little details, and the ones that don't work as well. Just the maniology polish just isn't working. However, as we just seen the born pretty polishes, um, I think because they are, I, I think I'm not, I'm not, this isn't, this isn't science, um, but I feel like they're thicker. Uh, and I mean, they're all opaque, but I feel like they're thicker, so they just work better. Uh, and I will say the Moyu Stamper, at least this one anyway, I, I mean, this, I, like, I might have to place another, another order just to get extra of these. This Monocle Stamper, is awesome. I prefer stampers that have a, the little bit of a handle rather than these, the shorter ones. I mean, I love the stamper heads of Maniology, but I just prefer having more something to hold on to when I'm doing it. I feel like I have better control. Um, but this stamper is awesome. 
So I didn't even get around to trying the my, the ice cube stamper from them. Uh, we'll save that for another day, but yeah, like I wish I had five more of these. So I might have to do another order just for that. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this helps. I don't know if it will. Um, it's not going to help you if you if you don't have polishes that are thicker and it doesn't work with. Um, but they do pick up just some of them don't pick up as well. So the biggest issues I find are the more, this one's dirty now, but especially this plate, this one and this one, these two are a pain in the butt. They suck. They don't work well. This and this. It's a lot of, they work, they just don't work easily or well. Um, and then most of this plate works picked up. The only issues I really had was um, the lines are so thin on like this one, this one, this one, not this one so much, um, but those three that the thicker born pretty polish, like just worked better. These are negative space and they also have like other little designs etched in them. This one and this one, the more of the outer space ones. And so I find um, that's more of a skill and a, like a technique you need to practice to get better at it, which I'm not very great at. So, but they do pick up and then all of these pick up really well, even though they're negative space, they don't have all of this in there. Um, so they're a lot easier to pick up. Uh, again, I know repeating myself, I hope this helps someone out there that has these plates and might be struggling. Um, leave your comments below, ask me any other questions. Um, and I'll try to help out with what I find. So I am going to now spend the next hour cleaning up my mess. If you like this video, if you need help, need have recommendations or tips or suggestions, please comment below, share this video, and subscribe for future notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.